Greetings friends, John Harford here. I wanted to give you a quick tip for designing character sheets and other tabletop RPG game materials. Today on my stream I was working on character sheets and I realized some of you might have the same question I did. How do you make an interactive PDF character sheet? It's pretty simple. Let's start by taking a look at what I had to begin with. So I made this sheet last night and I realized, wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of little spaces here where people can fill in information, where they could fill in skill details, where they could fill in weapon characteristics and that making all these little sections individually as interactive components would take a lot of time. So how did I go from this to this? Well, very simply, I started by making this sheet in Adobe InDesign. If you don't have InDesign, which is part of the Adobe Creative Suite, and you have questions about other software that you think might be able to do this, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I might be able to help. Let's take a look at these as individual objects. Now, first of all, you draw these objects with a with a drawing tool where I made I just made circles where people could write in a player name a hero name and where they could fill in small details here simply select something that you've made in this case it's a circular object an oval object and go to interactive and convert it to a text field now you'll see it instantly changes up here in the buttons and forms window to text field. It assigns it a value and event on release or tap is absolutely fine. This is now an editable field. If you notice on what I showed you before, this, particularly this particular field was non-editable. Player name you cannot edit. Let me go and export this right now. Export. And I drop this down to Adobe Interactive. And I'll just overwrite my existing file. And I'll export it. Now I left all default settings. But as you can see, it now makes player name an editable field. Now the player could enter a name, Gozgar the Destroyer, or whatever they choose. And when they save this PDF, it will save that information. They can print it out. They can send it to people. It's really handy. I use it for almost all of my games. Let's take this one step further. Let's not save Gozgar. I thought, wow, I'm going to have to do this to all these little fields individually, right? Now, if you notice, these all have a different assignment. How did I do this? How did I do this quickly? You can select more than one. In this case, I only selected hero name and culture. But earlier, I just selected all of these, did a right click. Now you can also access this by the way from Object Interactive. And knowing Adobe, there's probably other ways to access it that I haven't even bothered looking at yet because I can do it here. And all I have to do is go to Interactive, Convert to Text Field. And those are now text fields. Is this a text field as well? Yes, it is. It, some of them have a little icon, some of them do not. But now they have these icons indicating they are editable text fields. I'm going to export this again. Replace it. Export it and it should automatically pop up right here. So now I have a more or less completely editable character sheet. Now this started off as an experiment for this weekend's playtest that packs unplugged of my game. Tales of the Hard Land, which I, which you see right here. And it ended up that I think I'm going to end up using these character sheets. 
because I can very easily export this as a print sheet too. So as I said, if you like what you see, please feel free to follow me at Fox and Board Games. Like and subscribe to this channel you're watching right now. Twitch TV from the Tomes, where I work on a lot of this stuff for this game live. Fox and Board Games. Dot com is my landing page. You can follow Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Fox and Board Games. Please feel free to support me by liking, subscribing, and following all of this. You'll continue to see my game development and my game design grow, hopefully publishing by midway through next year. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know what you think.